Transfer cost and quantity from the source modeling software to Syncor Pro. Traditionally, scheduling and cost estimating are two common practices in the construction industry. Schedulers usually develop WBS structure and add activities underneath different WBS levels. Estimators will use estimate template and the layout of a cost estimate usually depends on contract requirements. Unit format or master format are widely used for design phase cost estimates. Schedules and cost estimates are structured differently. In this video, we've prepared a generic schedule. We will use this model to explain available options for Syncro users to transfer cost and quantity information from the source modeling software to Syncro Pro to go beyond 4D. If the needed user field is not available, we will also show how to create user fields and add values to the created user fields. As we all know, for a different estimating item, quantity unit is different too. Generally, we use square foot for walls, cubic yard or ton for casting place concrete, each or count number for openings and fixtures, etc. To mimic the layout of a rough order of magnitude estimate, which is also called ROM estimate, we will first create two user fields for tasks. They are Revit unit price and Revit cost. User field type is number. Then you would display these two created user fields by customizing column. Then we will display four available columns in Synchro. Physical quantity, physical quantity unit, budgeted direct cost, and budgeted total cost. Let's use exterior doors as an example. For demonstration purpose, we've created resources for different type of exterior doors and have created separate tasks for each type of the exterior doors. Associations between 3D and scheduled tasks have been established through resources. Then we want to be able to use as much data from the source modeling software as possible. Then we will use Synchro script and copy user field value features. We can easily tell from the 3D properties user field that these are the user fields which have been exported from the source modeling software. In this case, it is Revit. User fields and user field values can be exported selectively and they are stored in the SPX file, which was exported via Synchro plugin. Since doors are modeled as individual 3D objects, for each door object, we want to create a user field with value of one for counting purpose. So, let's select all exterior door tasks. Right-click to select Assign Resources. Then, go to 3D Properties to assign this user field count to all associated 3D objects with a value of 1 for counting purpose. Now we can go to Synchro Script to write a simple script which will help us to write the count of total number of doors to physical quantity column of each task. 
Please note that this script applies to only selected tasks, and by using this script, Synchro is going to sum the user field values from 3D user field count, which have been created, and copy the sum values to physical quantity column based on the 3D task relationships, which have been established via resources. Please also note that this script will set the physical quantity unit to each for the selected tasks too. For each 3D object for exterior doors, we've added unit price in the attribute family parameter cost float in the source modeling software in this user field and user field values have been imported into Synchro. Since we've created a task user field Revit unit price, and we'll use this column to display unit price of each type of doors. Remember, each task represents the installation activity for only one type of exterior doors. Let's use the pseudocode below to explain what we want to achieve. We can use copy values to associated objects feature to achieve this. We can go to navigator user field, type in keyword cost to locate the 3D user field family parameter cost. Right click on the selected user field and open copy user field value window. In selected user field, let's choose 3D family parameter cost in the destination user field, let's choose task Revit unit price. In process objects, let's do apply this operation to selected objects and use the option any for operation for multiple associations. Unit price for each type of exterior doors is now displaying in Revit unit price column in task list. We can use copy values to associated objects feature again to display the cost of exterior doors by type in task user field Revit cost, which should equal to the sum of the user field values of all 3D associations for each task. Let's use this pseudocode to explain what we want to achieve. While the exterior door tasks are still selected, we, we can go to Navigator User Field, type in keyword cost to locate the 3D user field family parameter cost. Right click on the selected user field and open copy user field value window. In selected user field, let's choose 3D family parameter cost and in the destination user field, let's choose task Revit cost. In the processed objects, let's do apply this operation to selected objects. And this time, let's use the option sum for operation for multiple associations, because we want to get the cost for each door type. Cost for each type of exterior doors is now displaying in Revit cost column in task list. Since user field values of this Revit cost column don't add up at WBS levels, and Synchro script to copy values from user field to budgeted direct cost is not available yet, we want to simply copy values from Revit cost column to budgeted direct cost column to see subtotals at parent task level. We can take advantage of Synchro's interoperability with Excel to achieve this. While the tasks for exterior doors are still selected, Right-click to choose the option Copy Tasks as Text and paste them to Excel. Select the values in the column Revit Cost in Excel. Use the hotkey Control c to copy and go back to Synchro. Now select the first cell of Budgeted Direct Cost and in the right-click menu, choose the option Paste Tasks as Text. We can see that the subtotals for all exterior doors have been calculated at WBS levels based on the values underneath. 
We can now hide the revit cost column. Values in the budgeted total cost column are updated too, because they are calculated based on budgeted direct costs and other resource-related costs. Budgeted total costs can then be used for earn value graph.